Hi friends, in my pre previous session I have showed demo of open fusion. So in this session I am going to show uh, spring cloud fusion. So I'm going, uh, I have added uh, student service and student result service in my previous session and I was calling student result service uh, using open fusion annotations. So in this service, in this demo I have created one more service called uh, core service. For this, I am going to use uh, Spring Cloud Open Fusion. So first, I will go to pom.xml. I will show what is the dependency I have added. So I have added. Spring Cloud, Spring Cloud Starter Open Fusion. As I have used uh, the starter uh, to enable Open Fusion, I have to add at the rate Enable Fusion Client. So it automatically enables the Fusion Client configurations for us. Spring will do for us. And here is my core service REST class. So I am going to add these things in my student service. And I am going to call these methods. Uh, Spring Cloud adds support for MVC annotation for use uh, this uh, op Spring Cloud open fusion supports MVC annotations. In previous uh, open fusion it uses uh, request line for the method level and uh, for query param or path param matrix variables it was using at the rate param header map query map but here we can directly use spring mvc annotations so i am directly going to copy this method definitions so i am going to create one more client class in my student service new class I'm going to name it as student course service students course a uh, client and I need to pro uh, this is interface we need to provide the method def uh, declarations so I'm going to remove all these implementations I'm going to add a uh, import statement. So in my previous session op for open fusion, we were uh, providing the implementation for this interface. Here I can directly use at the rate and uh, fusion client. It will create instance for this client class. Fusion client. And I need to give the name of the client and the URL. URL is a way that the service is running. HTTP colon slash localhost colon 8090 slash core service. In our previous example, we have provided this in our service class. Let me go and show you. See, we were providing the uh, interface implementation through figan builder so we are manually adding this 
we have added client encoder decoder target request interceptor so spring cloud vegan automatically provides for us this and decoder which is uh, wraps with spring decoder similarly for encoder it uses spring encoder for logger it uses slf4j logger and it uses default contract as uh, spring mvc contract and in here we are have used figan.builder spring uh, spring cloud uh, open fusion by default uses histrix uh, figan builder and client is uh, a default fusion client so instead of doing all those things we have to provide only one annotation and it will take care for us if you want to change anything we can add configuration class and we can change or we can use property example configuration may add comma configuration and i can create that configuration class and i can add it here whatever changes we want we can do so right now i'm not going to do any changes so i'm just deleting if we want we can use properties also through application dot property i can add that properties and i can change that so i'm going to say so now we need to call these things as part of uh, our rest class so let me add this in in our rest So I'll add uh, course slash course to differentiate from uh, student service classes. I'm going to pause this video for some uh, for few seconds to implement this. So I have added uh, implementation for all these uh, methods. So I just added uh, written statements and I'm going to provide implementation in student uh, service class. So let me go to student service class. So now currently we have not provided any implementation. So I'm going to add that annotation. That is uh, student course results. the rate auto wired auto wired client course client I have saved. Now I am going to start the server and see the results. So all my services are started. I'll go to postman 
first let me uh, try with the core service spelling mistake yes c r b i c service so we are able to retrieve for a particular i uh, class we should be able to get that class for fourth standard we have english hindi math science social if we go to first class we'll be having only english hindi math so it's working fine so let me go to student service and i'll try to call so when i call from student service course i was able to retrieve uh, all the courses which are available for a particular class what course is there we can uh, use the path uh, para so for class 1 similarly if i want to use query para i can use class num equal to 4 so i will be able to retrieve fourth standard uh, subjects if i want to use query para map i can add some other attributes id equal to 9 and name equal to test 1 2 3 so we are getting same results because i have provided only implementation for class number 4 but if you go to our logs we should be able to see it's getting all the values and printing I think we are using uh, wrong URL slash query map. Query map. Now I should be able to see. See uh, whatever the uh, key value pairs we have passed, we are able to see. Similarly, let me try for matrix para. let me check the end point matrix slash id colon class num equal to it say uh request method is post not supported it was expecting post method let me check method not allowed it's post it say core service first we'll try with core service and see whether it is working see it's a missing matrix variable class num Uh, mother so we have not provided implementation for uh, taking this semi uh, semicolon so we need to implement web config web mvc config so that it will be working so let me add that implementation in my co service restart the service let 
me try now yeah now it's working so if i go to my student service i should be able to retrieve the results still here we are getting 405 course service matrix slash ones it was we are not passing any header values it was expecting header map maybe that is the issue let me pass some headers post not supported the issue is uh, we were getting error right it's because we have to use uh, matrix param also as a path uh, variable so when i started like this it started working for me so let me go and hit in postman so we are able to retrieve first to class 4 if i go for class 1 i should be able to get for class 1 yes uh, thank you friends